In Chapter 3, we've been learning about events. So far, the only events we know are Scene Activated, which happens automatically when you run your program, and Key Press. So we're going to expand on the events that we use by learning about mouse clicks today. I've opened up a program that you hopefully already completed. That's the typing program. You do not need to do this example. Just watch what I do and how you can create mouse click events. Then you're going to actually do this for a different program. This one is just an example. You do not need to do this along with me. Just watch. Now in my event listeners, I've already deleted all of my events. I just dragged them to the trash. I'm not going to delete scene activated. I need to have that one. But I deleted all my key presses. I'm going to replace them with mouse clicks. I don't have to do anything else different. My first method is still going to be the same. And I still have my move method with a parameter. I'm just going to focus on the event. So I'm here at my initialize event listeners tab. I'm going to add an event listener and this time instead of going to keyboard we're going to come to mouse. We have three choices but we're always going to use the first one click on. My mouse is going to click on some object so this is the listener. Now just like a key press I need a control structure to help me so I'm going to use if just like we did for our other events. And I'm always going to select true. So, so far it is just the same. Now when it was a key press I could drag this over because it was just for a key. But this time I actually have to see what the mouse is clicking on and compare it to something. So I'm going to use um, another structure here. I'm going to use the equals equals. I'm going to click here where the true is. You see a little um, triangle which means it's a pull down menu. I have all these different options. The one thing we want is near the end. This is a relational string, S thing. And I'm going to use equals equals. This one means not equals. Okay. So I'm going to come all the way over here and I do equals equals. Now we have to do just a little bit of a trick to get this to work. My first letter is a T, so I'm going to click on T and then I'm going to come over here and click on T again. Now of course T equals T. So this is not going to be very helpful and I need to use the event somewhere in here. So I'm going to come over here to this third parameter event and I'm going to drag it. It notes it lets me do it on either one and it doesn't really matter. So either one, but you're going to put it on one of them. So what my world is going to check to see is if the mouse is clicking on the T. And if it is, I want to do whatever the key press was, which is to make this T twirl. So I'm going to click on the T right now. I see the pr procedure. I'm going to click move it over here and for me my parameter was color so I'm going to pick a color. So this the, um, the method that it's linked to is exactly the same it was for key press but I just had to add this extra little condition in my if statement. And now when I run this program if I click on the T nothing happens because I deleted that event but if I click on it with the mouse now it's going to move. So we did some incremental development. I made sure that one of them worked. And now that I know that one of them works, I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to repeat this for the other letters. So I'm going to do the mouse click on again, drag up my if statement for true. And I'm going to come here to the true and come down to relational s thing and go to equals equals. And I'm go now I'm going to pick my next letter, which for me is a y. I do the y and the y. I'm going to come to this 30 parameter event and drag it on top of one of them. So I've just added in a condition to see if the mouse is clicking on the Y. I'm going to click on the Y so I can get this procedure and I'm just going to pick a color. I'm going to do incremental development so let's try this one. My T and my Y. I'm pretty comfortable that it's going to keep working now so I can add in a couple of more mouse events with my if statement true equals equals I mean equals equals and this time I have my P and my P I drag over my event I actually click on the P so I can see the procedure and I'm going to just fill in my parameter and then I have another one for E mouse click on Drag up your F if true. Then change here to equals equals. 
this time I have E. I come over here. So I include my event. Click on the E to get the procedure. And I'm going to pick a color. So it should work for all my letters. And I can do them in any order. Now, if I'd like to, I can do a final mouse click. I'm going to do use the poodle. So if I click on the poodle, all of them will go. Some of you might have done this with the space bar. What if you um, key press the space bar? All of them would spin. So I can do that. I have to attach this to a mouse click event. So I'm actually going to just use the poodle. So let's add one more mouse click event. Use my if true. Change this to equals equals. I'm going to use my poodle. Drag over my event. Okay, now I'm actually going to go, I want this to happen at the same time, so I'm going to use a do together. Drag that tile up. And inside here is going to be each letter. So I have my T. Click on the T. Move. Pick a color. And my Y. Move and my P and my E. So you can use do togethers and do in orders right here as part of your if structure. So my linked event, my linked method right now is, is this do together that contains all four commands. I click on the poodle, and there they go. Individually or all together. Now, as I mentioned, this was just an example. Now, what I would like you to do is to open your grow your grow plants program. So you've opened your new so you've opened your growing plants program, and the instructions did talk about typing a number, so I deleted that. I'm going to add in a new instruction that's going to say to click on the plants to watch them grow. Also remember to change your heading. It's no longer Lesson 3. Now it's going to be Lesson 6. So make sure you change that and also save it with a new name so you have the old version and you're going to have the new version. You're going to come to your event listeners and you're going to delete all of your key presses. Just drag them into the trash. Once they're all deleted, you are ready to create new event listeners for your mouse. And you're going to always use an if statement. And you're going to use equals equals. And then pick one of your plants. So I've got a banana tree in here. I just match them. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to use my event. And then I'm going to click on this one, so this banana tree. And I have my procedure. I'm going to have it grow. And then you just fill in your numbers. So you're going to do this for all the plants. And if you'd like to do one, you could add in another object where if you clicked on it, all of them grew. That's optional. but you might want to go ahead and give it a try. When you're finished with this program, as I mentioned, make sure that your heading is now correct. You save it with a new name and you can save it in the backpack for a grade.